Hi guys, I'm Shay Wow. Today I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about why is it so hard for Jehovah Witnesses to leave the organization or their religion. Well, this video is highly requested, so I want to give you guys what you want. Uh, so let's get to it. I think it really depends on who you are in religion. Um, most Jehovah Witnesses are raised in the religion, meaning that they have been in it since they were a baby to the current age they are now. And their whole entire life is in it. You have family in it. You have cousins, sisters, and brothers. You have spouses in it, boyfriends, people you're courting, or people that you're married to. And your best friends are in it. People that you grew up, grew up your whole life to be with. You know, so, and then you also have people, um, the, you know, your social status, I would say, like, you know, are you a pioneer? Are you, you have some type of rank in the organization. So that's another thing that kind of like maybe discourages people from wanting to leave because it can be a scary thought for them. What are they going to do when they leave? It's hard to make friends and it's hard to like meet new people and find another family it's complicated so they they figure to them um to themselves like why am i gonna leave because everything i've known is in this religion and then also you have those type of people who are opportunists who may have businesses maybe you sell insurance or maybe you sell something um clothing or something and most of your business comes from your brothers and sisters in the organization that can be another reason why people don't want to leave and then you have people like me who are relatively new to the organization. And basically, anybody who's relatively new in an organization, it's kind of like you got to fit in. And once you fit in, you find your place in the organization, you don't want to leave that. But I feel, me personally, people who have been in it less uh, amount of years, it's easier for them to leave. But that's not the truth in most cases, guys. But I feel the more you're in depth with the religion, the more years you have spent in it, the harder it is for you to leave. That's just my theory based off of what I what I know because I can be completely wrong. Okay, so for some people, I think it's hard for them to leave overall because if you get if you're like me, you you get we get attached to people, we get attached to a, a feeling, we get attached to something. Um, the reason why I came in would not be the same reason why another person came in. So I came in because of love. I came in because of, I love what I was learning. I'm a lifelong learner. I love learning history and art, things of that nature. So once I figure out, I knew the people were wrong. Once I figure out the love wasn't real, that was thing, something that just kind of opened my eyes. That, okay, maybe this organization isn't real. Once the teachings contradict each other too a little bit too much as I'm doing my own personal research, that was a bummer for me. So I came in for love and because of what I love, what I was learning. So those two things were brought to light to me, and so that made me realize like this is not a this is not the true religion. It just it can be, this can't be God religion. His people and I remember. A lot of times, okay, I'm going to go to this too. Like a lot of times people say because they really have that fear of God. They really truly believe that God, this is his organization and his only organization. Because Jehovah Witnesses, they definitely, definitely um, brainwash that into their members. That this is the only true religion and this, everybody else is going to go walk, be washed out and we're going to be saved. They really truly believe that and they teach that to their members over and over through their propaganda, through their false ideas, through their magazines and their publications and television and, and et cetera and talks and things like that. So they really teach this. They really brainwash these members to believe this. So if you're, you don't want to die, you know, that's another reason why people don't want to leave. You don't want to die. Like right when Armageddon comes, it's wrong, right around the corner, right? And it's been right around the corner since about 100, almost 100 years now it's supposed to be coming. So, <laughs> I had to mock that. You guys forgive me. But, so, that's another thing why people are scared to leave. They think Armageddon is really going to come and that they're really going to be saved and everybody else is going to die. That That's another reason why they stay. But I feel like this. If the organization has been wrong about things multiple of over multiple of multiple of multiple times, like, come on, wake up. 
they're lying about this one too. So, with that being said, some people are just afraid to leave because they think they're going to be destroyed during Armageddon. <laughs> like kind of like one of the reasons why I didn't want to leave either. There was a time in my life in my uh, whole stand of being a witness that I wanted to leave but I didn't and I know I said in one of my other videos that I would have left for the wrong reasons. I said wrong reasons because I would have ended up back there. I would have had that fear of God. I still would have had that fear of being destroyed. Um, <laughs> and, and that's why I went back. But the second time I, I left, like I left for good because I had like multiple reasons and Really, I honestly saw a clearer picture than the first time. The first time, I didn't have enough evidence or... Uh, I still believe that this was God's organization. And that's really what it comes down to. I really did believe that this was God's organization. And that if I leave, he was going to be wanting me to come back. Yada, yada, yada. But I do no longer... I no longer believe that at all. Um, that's another reason why people don't leave. Because they don't want to be destroyed during Armageddon. Which is really... It's kind of crazy. And you know, some people are opportunists, like I mentioned before. And they realize they have everything they ever built is in this organization. All of their clientele is in this organization. I think I know one person, like, per like I knew one person personally, had a business in, like, literally... I don't know why this person was in it because they didn't act like it. They, they made, did not make most of the meetings. Um, I just didn't understand why the person was like they, who they were. But I personally think it was because of her business, their business. And also on top of that, the person didn't have any family um, in the town where we live. And this person would go out of the country back and forth and wouldn't really have any friends or people that they knew so they use the organization as like a clutch so they can always have somebody to talk to and be with just for social reasons and I really do believe that some people were in it only because of that reason <laughs> so they can have friends somebody to talk to and whatnot but I feel like you know guys I, I hope that you're not one of those people that are staying around in this religion just so that you can have a social life it is so easy to make a social life outside of that organization trust me it is okay <laughs> and I felt like the organization was making me it was really pushing me outside of my comfort zone I am a huge introvert I I I, I I'm quiet and reserved I, I really like to do things outside of the box like I love art I love to do um craft projects and things like that which will be more on this channel I'll put more of those type of things on this channel um that's just me when I was induced to go to these meetings every week every like twice and three times three three times a week or whatever it was really hard because I'm a really touchy vibey Philly person and I knew that a lot of people weren't really genuine and I had to really endure and be around these people that was something that really took me outside my comfort zone guys like seriously but anyway don't be uncomfortable for this organization, y'all. Don't just try to, like, look at it, you know. I hope there aren't people out there that really use or I mean, hey, if you're going to use the organization, just use it. But that's just the truth, though. Some people use it also to be a pedophile. Like, we've been hearing numerous stories about this, about some people who are pedophiles. And they're Jehovah Witnesses. They're, they, they're really hiding from the true selves. They know in this world that... Hmm, if I am an elder, people are going to, hmm, if I'm a pioneer, people are going to, if I'm a CEO, people are going to respect me. People are going to trust me. People are going to esteem me. And let alone, these people are pedophiles, they're rapists, they're molesters, and they have this so-called, <laughs> I want to say so-called power, but I feel like if I say that, I'm being... Well, I can say that. They have this so-called power. Yes, I'm, being, I'm patronizing them because we know they really don't have any power. But that's just the way they see it, guys. And that's, like, also reason why people stay in, you know. Like, people, some people who have been in jail and they really can't. And they find it hard in the society 
for society to accept them because they made a mistake, right? But they're in this world now, this whole new world where everybody accepts them. And I'm sorry, but everybody's not meant to be accepted in our society. You know what I mean? And I hate to say that. Certain people have a certain place. That's why we have jails and prisons, okay? <laughs> like some people don't need to be accepted in our society. Some people are really sick minded. You know. But Jehovah's Witnesses they accept everybody. You know, as long as they're being a slave, as long as you're being a slave for Jehovah, you're okay with this organization. And that's another reason why some people don't want to leave. Because they have it good. They it's like a freaking paradise. And if you're like a nobody you know, especially if you're a guy, if you're a male, and you're a nobody, like, in this world, the world's world, and you barely have money, but you want a good wife. <laughs> like, <laughs> man, I'm going into some deep stuff right now. Like, if you want a wife or somebody, guess what? If you pretend to be a Jehovah Witness for a year, you're going to find your good woman. Okay? She never going to leave you. Never, ever, ever going to leave you. You can have a job working at McDonald's. You want to find you a wife, a good wife, more than you deserve if you're a Jehovah Witness. You know, so some people know the perks of being one of Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> some people know, and that's why they don't want to leave. You know what I mean? So, oh God, I feel like I'm rumbling. But yes, guys, this video was a question. I appreciate you guys' love that you guys show me. Leave some comments below. Hit the thumbs up button. Share this video with other people and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is not always going to be about Jehovah Witnesses, but as you see from my billboard, it's going to be about arts and crafts and education. Um, it's going to be a little bit of comedy. I don't know when I'm going to put up comedy. It's going to be self-help. It's nice. It's going to be about Jehovah Witnesses, guys. So stay tuned to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.